Salam alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you are going to learn about transactions in Room databases. Let's get started. So I hope you like the new look of my channel. Maybe this will motivate you to learn better. I don't know. So let's get started with the Room database. Right, so what is the use case? What is the problem we are trying to solve here? So sometimes like this is just an example of the book deal from the FTS. This has nothing to do with uh, full-time text search, right? Sometimes you want to do operations into the database but as single operations. For example, I want to add the money for one account and remove it from one account. This is kind of financial transaction. That's why we call it transaction, right? So in order for this operation to be correct, we needed to do it as transaction because let's suppose we subtract the money from account A and at the moment of adding this money to account B, for example, let's say the app crashes or for example, ele electricity stopped, for example, for some sake, like you will have inconsistent state in the database and this is an issue and you can bring consistency to your database using transaction. So here we are going to illustrate this is pretty simple uh, example. Here I have this query which removes all books and here I have something to insert lot of books and we are using this one here when inserting things into the database for the first time. So how we can achieve operation like removing everything from the database and then adding it together. We can achieve this through another method. Here is how you can define it. You define your normal method with a normal name for example let's call it remove and add for example books. Right? And here it will accept the normal list of books. Let's say you are going to take this parameter. You can accept multiple parameter, it's not a problem. And then what you are going to do, like since this is spent, you are going to call the methods that are used in the DAO to accomplish this step. So if you have three, four, five steps, you can create methods of them using delete, for example, insertion, update, for example, it doesn't matter. This is just demonstration purposes. So I can remove all books. And then once this is done, I want to add books, which are from the books here. Okay, sorry, books. Awesome. Now I need this operation to execute as one single operation, which is, we call it atomic operation. Either it execute all or it stop all, right? Simply, this is the beauty of room. You can annotate it with transaction. That's all you need to do. And this under the hood will generate a lot of stuff. If it doesn't work, like if it doesn't complete all correctly, it will throw usually an exception if you press here, control Q. You will see that database all parameters is then preserved. The transaction will be marked successful unless an exception is thrown. Okay. And here I think they are showing an example for themselves also. They have song DAO, right? And sometimes when inserting song, I want to insert something new and delete something old. I want this to happen as single operation. Okay. So I don't want to have inconsistency in my databases. So this is how you can specify transaction in your room databases. You can also run transaction from another part, which is from the database itself. And here, let's pretend we go here and instead of adding books, we want to do remove and add books, which is this one. And that would work because you are using this book DO. Now as a different or an alternative way, let's say this method doesn't suit you, right? You can have a reference to your database. Once you get your database, here we are having this database. For example, let me just put it DB like that. And then I'm using db.do.remove and add books. You can do something else. You can do db.run transaction. This one, right? And here you can give it a runnable. Simply, I can specify it like that. And here in that runnable, I can use my db. For example, bookdo. And here I can, for example, remove all books. And then I can add all books. Of course, this needs to be part of coroutine, so it's up to you on how to implement it. But this is the way on how to execute operations in a database transaction. Okay, so that's pretty much it about database transactions. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. If you have any question, please post it in the comment below. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.